some cotton yarn. You can use whatever brand that you like, but I do have, I love this cotton. Got it on sale for 95 cents. So 100% all cotton. A crochet hook. This is a letter J or a number six. You would need a tapestry needle just so we can sew in our loose ends and a pair of scissors just to cut off the loose strands. So if you have all your supplies, let's get started. All right, guys, so let's get started. We're gonna get started with making a slip knot. The way that I make my slip knot is just wrap the yarn around two fingers, cross it over, and then I go through my two fingers and grab that thread that I crossed over. And we're gonna start off with a chain of 28. To make a chain is grab your yarn, pull through. That's one, two, three, four, and five. So go ahead and make a chain of 28. Once you have your chain of 28 and the fourth chain from the loop, not counting this one, starting here, one, two, three, and in the fourth stitch, I want you to go ahead and make a double crochet. And now what we're gonna do is make a double crochet all the way across our chain. To make a double crochet, wrap the yarn around your hook, insert it into the stitch, grab the yarn, pull through. Pull through two, pull through two. So I want you to repeat this all the way across the row, just putting one double crochet into each stitch. I'll be back once I have my double crochets all the way across. I have all my double crochets going all the way across. Now this is a one row repeat. We'll go ahead and chain one, turn your work around. Once we turn our work around, you're gonna start with a single crochet. So we're just gonna do a single crochet in the first stitch. The next stitch is going to be a double crochet. The next stitch is going to be a single crochet. The next stitch, a double crochet. So we are repeating that all the way across. Single crochet, double crochet, single, double, single, all the way around. Now we starting with a single crochet. Whatever we end, the next row is going to be the opposite. But go ahead and do this all the way across and we'll I'll show you what to do next. So I end with a double, so let's go ahead and do single crochet. The next stitch, is a double crochet. Repeat that all the way across and I'll meet you back at the end. Okay, so I made it all the way to the end. So my last stitch is going to be a double crochet. So go ahead and put a double crochet into that stitch. Go ahead because I end with a double, I need to get started with a single. So I'm going to chain one, turn my work around, and what I'm going to put in here is a single crochet, because whatever you end with, the next row needs to be the opposite. So I end it with a double crochet. So I begin with a single crochet, and then I just go all the way across, just like we previously done single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, all the way around, all the way down. So I'm gonna go ahead and go all the way down with a single, double, single, and double. Continue that all the way down your row and I'll meet you back at the end. Okay, I made it back down to the end. And so I'm ending with a double crochet. And this is just a one row repeat. You always start your row with a chain one, turn your work around, 
And as you can see, we are already getting texture into our work. Let me just grab this yarn out of my way. Uh, we are already getting texture with our work. I love it. So I'm just going to continue on and you wanna get it to the length that you would like it to be, um, whatever that length is for you. So I'm going to start with a single crochet and then I go to a double crochet in the next stitch and then single and double all the way across just like we did on the previous rows and I'll be back once I get to the length that I will need. I need to grab my other towel to see. I'll be back to share with you guys how that looks. But so far it's looking very nice nice texture that's the opposite side this is the front side and you can already see the nice stitches okay i'll be right back all right guys so i am back so i'm finishing off my row single crochet double crochet all the way across single next stitch double so this was the last row that i wanted to do because i got the width the length that I want. And I went a total of 25 rows, not counting this first row of double crochets, but when we started the pattern, doing a single, double, single, double, I went a total of 25 rows. Look at that texture. Um, if you have a stitch marker, that'd be great. Now what we're gonna do, because we just wanna get a nice border uh, it's not necessary, especially if you're making this for a dish towel, but if you just want it for presentations, let's go ahead and do a nice border. So that was my last um, double crochet. I'm just going to chain one. Let me bring my camera up just a little. I feel like I got it too far down. Okay. We're just going to chain one. And we're just going to go across the side and all the way around doing a single crochet. So since I have chained one, just for me to remember where I started at, probably be kind of hard to forget, but if you wanna put a stitch marker there, that'll be okay. And you don't wanna do your uh, single crochets too tightly, but not too loosely as well. And right where I did that double crochet is where I'm going to insert my hook and do a single crochet. And I'm just going to go to each space that I have available around this whole dish towel and do a single crochet. So there's my next space. I don't want to go into the stitch. I just want to go into the space. And that way, when you go into the stitch, you don't have to mess up the stitch when you're just going into the space. So here's my next space right there. I'm just going to insert my hook and do my single crochet. So repeat that all the way around till you get back to your stitch marker and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I went around one time with my single crochets. Now you can go around the border one time, two times, as many times as you like. You can also uh, do a half double crochet around if that's better for you. But I just did one time for the sake of this video and look how our towel turned out. Isn't that beautiful? I really, really like the details in here. It's a textural uh, towel that looks very beautiful. And I like to fold mine up so that you can really see uh, the texture yeah so let me know in the comments what you think of this video i really love it now I, I as i said i only went 25 rows um down but if you want yours wider or even if you want yours longer that's totally up to you but this is a perfect size uh for me anyway guys thank you so much for tuning back in to another doy creations video I appreciate it so, so very much. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Definitely, you can share it out. And also, please um, 
drop me a comment down below. All right, guys, until our next video, always remember y'all Psalm 68.4 in your King James Version. Always keep your life and your health in check. And I'll see you all in our next video. Bye, guys.